What's up, guys? We're back again with another video. We're going to look at another defender today, cornerback out of Florida, Kair Elam. He's rangy, 6'2", around 200 pounds. He's got speed to boot, and he's an outside corner. Let's put it that way. He, he can press your man. He can play smart zone coverage. He can do a little bit of everything. Let's see where, where he's going to be valued in the NFL, but check him out on the bottom of the screen. I mean, to me, really good outside corner. Lengthy, uses those arms to his advantage. But plus, where do you see him playing most in the NFL? Right, I would agree with you. He's, he's definitely an outside corner. Uh, and, you know, as you see here, good in, in press coverage. You know, he likes to stay on top of the receiver. Does a great job of just, you know, redirecting the route and really controlling the play. So uh, you're going to see that, you know, consistently on film where, you know, he can make plays like this. And he's going against a top-notch wide receiver right there in Jamison Williams. Who sadly, because his ACL probably won't get drafted as high as he should, but still great player nonetheless. Here he is again, bottom of your screen, really close to the line. He's really good, really damn good. I like how he's punching that outside arm in because the guy is jumping inside, so he's trying to jump inside with him. Turns those hips quickly, locates the ball, tries to get in the ball, knock that thing down, and no surrey. What do you like with that one? I, I like the, uh, you know, the patience. Again, he doesn't try to rush things with his hands or, you know, his footwork is in false stepping. So he does a great job of really just being patient. And he reacts to what the receiver is doing very quickly. Uh, so his processing is very good um, as far as coverage. And in, again, does a great job of just staying in tune with the receiver here at the top of the screen. You're going to see pretty much the same thing. Real good patience, staying right on top of it, you know, pretty much running the route for, uh, the receiver there. Yeah, that's a huge deal. I mean, to be patient enough to not get scared that, okay, guy's going to flash by me and I'm going to get beat with deep speed. No, he has the speed. He has the length. He has size. But still, wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's his decision. He's also knocking down his hand. So the guy can't stack him, get across him, pushing that inside hand down. Then the second he realizes he's turning around, he gets his, his own head around to see if he can make a play on the ball. But the quarterback already said, there ain't no chance I can get that ball over there. Nice play by Elam again. Now, outside over here, I don't think it's a flag, but you tell me what you think, Plus, Well, I think it's just, you know, good hand battling on both sides. Um, yeah, a little ticky-tack call there by the ref, but, again, good positioning, good footwork, uh, you know, swiping that inside hand like you talked about, and then, you know, churning uh, to make a play on the football. I think it's all, you know, right there. And, you know, really, if anything, this ball is uncatchable. But still a great play by uh, Kair Elam. Yeah, he's a gnat. He, like, he's similar to Sauce Gardner. Sauce has literally always got his hands on you at all times. There's no if ands, or buts. He's going to have your his hands on you. Elam's just more like in your way. <laughs> just an, an, an annoyance nonetheless. But still, he's just in the way. But he's got head, headiness to him. I mean, look at him here. Look at all this motion going on with the wide receiver in the backfield. He sees it. He's like, no, nah, no. Nah. I'm one-on-one -on -one with this guy. I'm not going to let this kind of confuse me to what's going on because that's what Alabama wanted. They wanted him to get confused. Jameson Williams thinks he's going to go block, but no. He sticks with it, drives him right to the sideline, doesn't force any flags, but overall, I mean, headiness, know, knowing how to use the sideline to your advantage, using your body, not your arms. I mean, I like that a lot. What do you like with that one? Well, again, it just shows the you know overall patience that we were talking about and – you know, he does a good job of using his body here, um, you know, to stay with Jamison and, and really just, you know, like you said, ride him out of bounds. Again, not be too handsy or too over, um, you know, aggressive. Does a great job of just being smart and, and lets the, the play uh, take care of itself. Yeah, that's a big league play right there. Now, outside goal line stance, I mean, quick in. Can he defend that? I think so, too. I mean, look, at the, again, shooting that arm, noticing he's going in. He's just driving him through that wide, wide receiver's route. I mean, that's, again, speed wide receiver, Jamison Williams. He's got the speed, too. He's got the size as well. A lot of things to like with uh, Kyrie Elam. What do you like? No, I you know, definitely agree. I mean, as far as press press coverage, I think that's obviously a strong suit. Um, you know, we're going to get into other aspects of his game. But, yeah, definitely this is something that can be a relatable trait to the next level, and he, he does it pretty well. Now here in, in a cover three look, um, playing some zone coverage. He's going to do a good job of, uh, you know, just staying in his assignment, not being, um, you know, too over aggressive. But here, just showing the click and close, 
does a great job of, you know, reacting, seeing this play, reading it perfectly, and then coming back to the football. The opposite angle is going to show it even better, but like Plus is talking about the click and close to recognize the ball's about to get out, put my foot in the ground, he's up here. He's going to click and close, bring his body all the way around, not cause a penalty, and hit the ball right before the receiver can get it. That's nasty. That's stuff where you're not giving up on the on the play, you know what your assignment is, you know where your zone is, and just getting your hand on the ball. And, again, I love his communication, the awareness of it. Quarterback's over here changing the play, right? He's going to say, okay, well, we're not going to change anything, talking to the safety, talking to the nickel corner, talking to the outside guy. This is stuff I really like to see because this is a guy that knows where he has to be, trying to command everyone around him, letting everyone else know to be comfortable around him too, and just sticks with it. This is all this noise going on around here. doesn't matter. sticks with the play. And then even – Tracking this guy down from a deep ball, not a chance. Like That's really, really good football to me. What do you like with that one? Well, communication, I think, is the biggest factor here. And, and you definitely have to have that at the next level uh, going forward. And his ability to communicate here, you know, making sure his teammates are all on the same page, that's very important. Uh, but then it shows, you know, the good recovery speed, you know, here, getting a little contact there at the top of the route. But then, you know, putting on his gears, uh, to go chase this ball down. Very, very good stuff. Yeah, even with his own teammate in the way. And probably teammate hurting him. But <laughs> it is it is what it is. Uh, more click and close stuff here. Check him out here. I mean, all that space to use. What does he do? Nope, still eye towards the quarterback. Get involved. Not allowing there to be a target for the quarterback. I mean, I like this. Again, this is, you saw him against man. Now in zone. He can do a little bit of everything in coverage. And I, I really like value that. And I think NFL teams will too. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, he's got the the size, the speed. I mean, everything you want from an NFL corner, and obviously his awareness and coverage is is pretty good. Now here, you know, the missed tackles, you know, that's something he's got to definitely work on as we get into, um, you know, some of the traits that definitely need need improvement and open field tackling. Again, that's it's not the easiest thing, but it's something that he has to get uh, much more accustomed to and much better because at the next level, that is something they're going to ask him to do quite often. Oh, 100%. I mean, I do like the awareness of it. I mean, he's dropping him off, seeing the running backs going in the flats. And you're right there. You're like the last line of defense. Again, you mentioned it. It's really hard open field tackling. I mean, at least slow him down so the rest of your teammates can kind of get there too. That's, yeah, something that can be learned, better tackling technique. But here, this is, I don't know what Florida's kind of doing here. They're mixing up their their coverages here. Looks like there's a zone, some sort of cover three. When he let it roll, I mean, he's attacking Jamison Williams down downhill. If he if it is a cover three, this guy has the middle. So don't give up that outside edge where he can use that blazing speed he has. And what does he do? Gives it up all day. A guy like that, that many moves, that much speed, he can make some damage. So this one's a little negative, but, I mean, a guy like this, it's it's difficult. But what do you like with that one? Or what what don't you like with that one? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's definitely difficult, especially going up, you know, against a player with that much uh, ability and speed. But yeah, kair has got to do a better job of just angle pursuit, making sure he knows where the rest of his guys are. And, you know, you want to force that guy upfield, you know, towards your safety because he, like you said, he's got the middle of the field, or at least that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, you never want to let the guy get to the outside corner, um, especially with that dangerous speed. Yeah, I mean... He's going to fall, and someone's going to get a really damn good player in Jamison Williams. But more on Kair. Again, tackling. So check out where he's at. I do like that he's staying with the play. He's over here. He's going to go all the way with the play. He realizes who's catching the ball. But the thing is the tackling again. Stuff that can be taught, coached up. But come on. A little bit better effort. Take those legs out. Bring the guy down. Something in Sauce Gardner we saw he's very vicious in tackling. I didn't like that. What do you see? No, I completely agree. And and this is, you know, probably the, the main reason why Kair is not mentioned as one of the, you know, the top corners in this class as far as like, you know, ahead of maybe uh, Andrew Booth or, you know, some of these other guys. Uh, it's because of the inconsistencies at, at the tackling. And you have to make sure, you know, that this kind of effort, you know, that's not going to cut it. You have to make sure you get off of this guy and, and try to make a play on the running back. And then, not finish you know you got to be able to finish and you know play to the whistle so some of the effort and the tackling the angle pursuits all that stuff can be coached up but yeah it's definitely got to get better at the next level 
Yeah, I didn't like that either. I mean, the whistle wasn't blown yet. You're, he's kind of coasting now. He puts his hand in the ground. He can kind of get a touchdown. You got to keep following up, help your teammates out. I guarantee he wants to help too. And then here's one good play of him in the running game. This is just one game against Alabama, so it is what it is. But overall, coverage-wise, love him. Against the run, he needs some, some work. Is that just want to? Is that effort? What is it? Can it get coached up? We'll see. But other than that, Kair Elam, pretty damn good prospect. I like a lot. If he gets more NFL coaching, you never know how high a ceiling could be. Other than that, guys, if you like the content, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't just yet. Comment, where do you have Kair Elam in your rankings? Let us know. One, two, three, where is he at? And with that said, until the next one.